and welcome. Kendra Morgan here with Cards by Kendra, and I'm back with another TLC Designs project today. I'm sharing this Turtlelicious Trifold Shutter Card that I made using the Turtlelicious stamp set. This set features several adorable turtles, a snail, and some lily pads and flowers, along with some great sentiments like birthdays are turtlelicious, wishing you a turtley day, sweet friends, giggle a little, and you're sweet. I'm also using the Aztec Sunshine die set and the digital designer papers called You Are My Sunshine. Now this designer paper pack is available both digitally and as a physical pack. I've printed these off to be a little bit bigger since my card is going to be bigger than an A2 size and I needed it to be longer than six inches. Now I just printed this out on regular printer paper. So to start, I'm taking a 12 inch by 12 inch piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock and I'm cutting it at seven inches so that I'll have a seven by 12 piece. This is my card base. And now I'm taking my scoreboard and I will be scoring this at two inches and then again at four inches, eight inches, and 10 inches on this long side here. And now I'm gonna turn it and score it again at two inches and at five inches. Next, you'll wanna turn the card base vertically and take a craft knife and a cutting mat and cut along the outer score lines, starting two inches from the top and go all the way down the score line until you are two inches from the bottom. So basically you want to have a two inch square on each corner. So I used my T ruler to help me keep the line straight. Now the first time I did it I didn't cut all the way through so I had to go back over it again. But then next you'll want to fold it so that the top and bottom piece create mountains at two inches and then valleys at four inches. But that middle piece should have a mountain at four inches. And then the top and bottom pieces should have mountains again at eight inches and then a valley at eight inches in the middle so that it will stand on its own like this. Next, you'll want to cut some mats for each panel and make them one eighth of an inch smaller than the measurements of the panels. So the first two, you'll make the strips be one and seven eighths of an inch by six and seven eighths of an inch. Then you're gonna cut four square pieces at one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And then next, after these four pieces are cut, you're gonna cut two pieces at one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then you'll need one piece cut for that middle part to two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Now that's for that big piece in the middle of the card base. And then you're gonna need two more pieces. And since I don't have any more of that red cardstock, I'm gonna cut these pieces out of yellow cardstock at one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Now I have five different prints or patterns here from the paper pack, and there are five different matching size panels. So now I'm gonna cut these the same way, just another eighth of an inch smaller than the, than the, the mats. So I'm using the dots pattern here for the long end panels, and these should measure one and three fourths of an inch by six and three fourths of an inch. And then next I'm using this teardrop pattern to cut out the four squares, and these should measure one and three fourths of an inch. And there should be four of these. And then I'm using the plaid pattern next to cut out the one and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch pieces. And these are the ones that are gonna go on the yellow mats. 
and then for the large piece in the middle I'm cutting the solid teal paper and this is going to be cut to two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches then this last pattern will be cut to one and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches and of course you need two pieces of this as well after all of the pieces are cut you'll want to adhere them to the mats and I'm using my Tombow permanent tape runner since I printed the patterns on regular printer paper. I didn't really want my card to be too thick, so that's why I used printer paper. But if I were using cardstock, I'd probably use liquid glue instead of the tape runner since it gives me some wiggle room to make sure the pieces are straight. So I'm having to be really careful here to make sure that I line things up just right. Now that all of the pieces are glued onto the card base, I'm taking the largest of the Aztec Sunshine Circle dies and I'm cutting it out of the same teal cardstock as my card base and I'm using my Big Shot die cutting machine to do that. And I'm also using some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock to cut out the inner stitch circle die as well as the clouds. And then I'm cutting the sun and another large circle out of the yellow cardstock so I can layer it underneath the teal circle. And then I'm taking this white circle piece and masking off the bottom part with some low tack mint tape. And I'm using this stencil and some tumbled glass distress oxide ink to stencil on some clouds onto the top part of the circle. And I'm using my life changing blender brushes to do this. And then once I have all of my clouds on here, I will be adding some grass to the bottom after I remove that mint tape. And for that, I'm going to be using Lucky Clover Distress Oxide Ink. Now I'm taking a couple of the turtle stamps as well as the snail and a couple of the flowers and I'm stamping them onto some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I'm using my Misty stamping platform and I'll be inking this up with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink since they're Copic marker friendly. And since my stamps are new, I'm gonna be stamping this twice just to make sure that I get a good solid impression. Now I wanted my sentiments to be stamped in a matching ink color so I decided to just cut this piece in half and then I could ink those up separately. But at this point I wasn't really sure which of the sentiments I wanted to use so I just decided to stamp them all. <laughs> I used my brother scan and cut to cut out the images and I've pulled out some Copic markers in colors that match the pattern paper. I'm starting with E33 for the turtle shell and then I'm adding Y11 
and YR14 for the spots on the shell. Now for the turtle's body, I wanted to go with something close to kind of like a teal green. So uh, I'm starting with BG15 to outline the outer edge. And then next I'll be using BG34. And then I'll be coming in with some BG13 and then the lightest shade of BG10. Now for the leaves, I'm using BG49. And then for the flowers, I'm using R35. And then I'll be coming in with some R20 just to blend that together. Now I did end up coloring the snail off camera. I used a stitched scalloped rectangle die from my stash to cut out the sentiment that says birthdays are turtleicious. And I have all of my other pieces ready to assemble. Now this time I am using some liquid glue to attach everything. And I like using Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive because it dries clear and it gives me some wiggle room. But I am running out. You'll see me struggling to get some out of this bottle here, but it's getting really low. So I end up switching over to some art glitter glue. Sorry, this is a little bit out of focus here. And then for my turtle, I decided to use some foam tape to pop him up just to give him some dimension. Or her, whichever. <laughs> it's a cute little turtle, either way. To finish off the card, I added a matching Bermuda Bay heart to the sentiment, and then I added two orange hearts next to the snail. And then I decided to add some Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew 
this dries clear but it gives it a little bit of shine i added that to the turtle's eyes as well as the snail and i i'm just using that other bottle there to hold it flat while i do this And then I added some clear wink of Stella to the flowers to give it some sparkle. And here is my finished card. I really hope you like it. I think it turned out really cute. If so, click the thumbs up and leave a comment. Also, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.